In this tutorial, we're going to look at the Mesh Smooth and Turbo Smooth modifiers in 3ds Max. So let's go ahead and start by creating a box. Um, I'm going to use a box that has a little um, less length and width and height segments on this, just so we can see the smoothing effect a little bit better. Um, and then we'll go ahead and add a Mesh Smooth modifier. The Mesh Smooth and Turbo Smooth are just different ways of smoothing a geometry. So um, it's really up to you. You should try them both, see which one works best for you. I'll start with Mesh Smooth. You can see it automatically smooths the edge and I'm just going to add an Edit Poly modifier. We haven't covered that, but just so you can see the how it's transforming the edges. Don't worry about it, but we'll, we'll cover it a little bit later. Okay, so you can see it's smoothing the edge there. If I go into my Mesh Smooth, um, the way I can control that smoothing is through the iterations. And one really important point is don't go over three iterations. I'll show you why here. If I go to two iterations, you can see it doubles the number of faces. If I go to three, it quadruples them. And so as I go further and further, it's going to get more and more um, dense, and you'll get to a point where you'll crash your computer, just can't handle that many um, face geometries. So you can't really tell the difference after three anyway, so I would really recommend only staying at three. Don't use your toggles here, or you'll crash your computer immediately, so just be aware of that. Um, the other thing you can do, so if I go back here, there's different subdivision methods. Uh, right now it's using NERMS. You can just try them and see which one works best for your geometry. It's going to depend on the form of the, the geometry and, and what kind of method you use, and it will produce a different result. So I'd recommend just trying these. I typically use NERMS just because it looks the smoothest to me, but really it's up to you and whatever you're working on. One nice thing you can do is if you open up your Mesh Smooth and choose either the vertices or edges, you can actually do um, something similar to the FFD box where you can actually select these edges and deform the geometry and it will sort of smooth, do a smooth deformation by manipulating those edges and vertices. So that's sort of a nice little feature um, there. Uh, the other one, if I just right click and delete this, is the Turbo Smooth. So if I go to Turbo Smooth, it does very much the same thing. So again, it's really just a different method of producing smoothness. So I would recommend trying this and seeing which one works best for you. Again, don't go over three iterations. The one nice thing on both of these is you have a render iterations. And so if you have a bunch of smooth geometry in your form, um, you might just want to keep the model at, at zero so you won't actually see it. But when it renders, it'll add those iterations. So you don't see it as you're modeling, but you would see it in the rendering. And that could just save computational power if your machine's kind of struggling. Um, so that's kind of a nice feature. You can also turn on uh, different things like the display if you don't have edge faces on. Um, this one doesn't have what Mesh Smooth has where you can move the edges and vertices. So that's one drawback to Turbo Smooth. But it really, again, it's just up to you and the, the look you're going for.